So thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and allowing me to transport you to a little um, part of Mozambique that's very, very special uh, to me. I've been working with um, this area of Mozambique for, for many, many years now, probably for about 12 or 13 years. Um, and it is just the most incredible beach add-on to a Southern Africa um, safari um, experience. So Santorini, Mozambique, we've been working with for about four years now. And it is located in Villanculos, which is just, um, which is the airport you fly into. It's about a one and a half, so one hour, 40 minutes flight from Johannesburg Airport, uh, direct to Villanculos. Can everyone hear me okay? Can you hear an echo? I have got a new, new microphone, so maybe it's not doing a, a good enough job. Um, I will carry on, but if you are finding it hard to listen to me, no echo, okay, few. Phew, perfect, great, thank you. Um, I always hate it when you get new technology and you're just terrified if it's working or not. Great, I'm so glad you can hear me. So, um, Villanculos is a one hour, 40 minute flight from Johannesburg um, and there are daily flights and you can also connect to Nelspruit as well. So it works really well as a Kruger beach add-on as well. And at the end of the presentation, I'll show you a couple of special offers we're running um, with the Safari operators as well that make it a really, really great twin center. The property itself is on the mainland, so it's about a 25 minute drive north of Villanculos. Um, and it's a lovely drive, you drive through the, through the town, it's about five kilometers long, um, and it's a really easy drive. And it's just lovely to be on the mainland because what's quite different about um, Santorini, Mozambique, and as, as opposed to the properties on the islands, um, is that you have this, this obviously because you're on the mainland, you are able to really kind of touch and feel real Africa, you can go into Villanculos, you can see all the villages, you can see the kids going to school. So it's a really nice um, drive. And actually one of the excursions we did pre-COVID uh, was to take our guests into Villanculos and go and do a town tour. So they'd see the markets and they'd go to a craft center. Um, that was pre-COVID. We're hoping to bring that back, but obviously at the moment we're still being quite cautious and not um, going to crowded areas too much. So, um, but what's lovely is you can you can um, get access to you know this, the, the mainland Africa, so you can really kind of get an insight into the culture on the on the mainland. But yet, it's only a very short boat ride across to the islands. And for every three nights stay at Santorini, guests have a full day's island excursion. So you actually really kind of get to enjoy the islands and experience them in this phenomenal way, um, which, um, and, and for every three nights stay, you, you get that full day's island excursion. So if you are staying six nights, you'll get two island excursions. So it's a really, really good special offer. Um, so it, it's, it, as I say, it's very easy to get to, it's super easy to connect to Johannesburg and to Nelspruit as well. And then a 25 minute drive up from the airport um, and the driver is really, really is in our in our white safari vehicle, so it feels like it's an extension of your of your safari experience. Um, Santorini also have their own private airport lounge. This is particularly good when guests are departing; they can sit and relax in here um, rather than the main uh, um, departure lounge. Although to be fair, Villanculos Airport is quite new, so it's quite nice. Uh, but it's still something very special about having your own private private lounge. Um, so there are three elements to Santorini, Mozambique. We have the main villa in the middle. Middle. that has five rooms we then have our two exclusive views villas the, cha the chapel which has two rooms and villa de prior which has three rooms um, and as you can see they're located on this cliff and they have the most beautiful view of the of looking over the the bay onto the bangra the Bazaruto archipelago and this is a photo i actually took with my phone when i was last there so you can see it's, it's just the most stunning stunning location um, and it's so lovely because it's um it's on the mainland, so the nearest village is about a kilometre away, so you can see the fishing boats go backwards and forwards in the morning, but it's not kind of too close to be too noisy. Um, the steps going down to the, the, the beach, it takes about 10 seconds to walk down to the beach, so it's very, very easy to access the beach. As you can see on this previous shot and this one, the, the tide is very tidal here, so it does go out quite far. But it is um, beautiful. There's no seaweed or anything. So when it goes out, it's still very lovely to, to see. Um, on the beach here, we have these lovely little, um, little beach salas. We have a little bar area and have a little coconut shower as well. Um, and so most of our guests do enjoy spending most of their time on the beach when they're not doing the island excursion. This is the main villa, which is built around this kind of courtyard with a pool in the middle. So there are five rooms in this main villa. Um, and they are, this is like a little boutique hotel. So the rooms are taken in, individually. Um, and then we have this lovely, lots of different shared areas you can go to. So everyone can find their own little space. 
um, because at any one point there's only going to be 10 people staying in the villa. Um, so this is our lounge area and then our TV room, where actually when I was last there, or no, not last, when I first went to, um, to Santorini, it was the royal wedding day. So I actually watched um, Harry and Meghan get married in that TV lounge, which was a bit surreal being in Mozambique to watch that. Um, and then we have our beautiful martini room, uh, martini pool, which has this amazing view, panoramic view across to um, the Basarutia archipelago. Um, and then we have different dining areas. There's always somewhere private, and they really kind of um, every night I'll set up uh, dinner in a different location for the guests. Um, this is our different sala bar where people guests will meet for pre-dinner drinks um, and after dinner drinks if they want to. They have an amazing cellar and bar and um, our, our dining area and bar area as well. Um, and then we have our little boutique, the Pansy Shell, um, which has got some amazing uh, little items and curios to buy. Um, so these are the rooms in the main villa. So the interior design has been done by the owners, actually. The owners are a, a lovely couple. He's South African, she's English. They lived in Johannesburg uh, for many, many years, but they just love this area. And they, they built Santorini initially as a private villa. And then they opened it up to be this, this boutique hotel. And they are really involved in, in the property. They are up there a lot. They're just the most lovely couple. And you really feel like it's got a family vibe to it, um, which has really come from them and the team they've got around them. So the managers they've had, they, they have currently been there for about five or six years now, um, and it's really their home as well. And so you have, you really do feel like it's a very kind of family, you feel like you're, you're at home, they're, they're very, very warm and welcoming, and it's small enough to still be quite intimate, and, and really just have a, a that, that's one of the key um, feedbacks or comments we always get, is just how friendly and how, how warm and welcoming the, the team were. So this is um, Santa Carolina, the main, the main suite, and then we have, as you can spot, um, all the rooms are named after the islands in the, in the Basarito archipelago. Um, so Santa Carolina, the previous one, that's our kind of master suite. Um, that's on one side, one wing of the, of the house, and then the other four are on the other wing. And um, Benguera and Basarito are on the floor, the floor below, and they can actually be, if we had, say, families with older kids, we'd often put them in here because they are, um, whilst they're two separate rooms, they're on their own floors. So they can almost have that as a whole private area. Um, and um, they have a beautiful outdoor bathroom with a shower and outdoor bath as well. Um, and so these, this is the Benguera suite, um, which is stunning. So all the interior design, as you can see, is very kind of white, minimalist uh, wood, just very, very calming, very beautiful. Um, and then we have our two private or exclusive use villas. So we have the chapel, which is two bedroom, and Villa de Praia, which is three bedroom. Um, the chapel is perfect for families with maybe with younger children. Um, they have a set um, away slightly from the main villa. They have this beautiful plunge pool um, outside area. This is the main suite. And then they also have um, the second suite as well. Um, and then they have their own team of staff and they have their own kitchen and lounge area. So you can be totally self-sufficient if you want to. They do allow guests and um, children to come into the main uh, um, hotel area during the day, but at night they are, um, the, the main villa is actually for guests that are staying in the villa. Um, so it's much quieter. And Villa de Praia is our three bedroom villa. So they have two bedrooms, um, one, uh, on the right hand side, one up high on the left hand side and the doors you see down below are actually the third bedroom which you access externally. So that's really good for if you've got families who maybe are traveling with a nanny or grandparents or teenage kids that want to feel that are slightly separate. That works quite well for um, larger families or families with older kids. Again, beautiful interior design, very light and spacious. Um, amazing master master suite um, on suite bathroom and terraced area and this is the second suite all the rooms have this lovely big glass um, windows and doors so you have this beautiful view uh, from wherever you are um, and then in terms of what you can do there well there's, lo there's lots and lots of activities to do in this area as I mentioned for every three nights day you get a complimentary excursion to Marguerite Island and that is it's a full day's excursion you leave at like 9 30 and come back at 3 30 and you tend to go off and do um, snorkeling first um, and then you go and um, go to Marguerite Island and have this um, beautiful uh, uh, picnic lunch set up either on Marguerite Island or on um, Pansy Island um, and it's very simply done with this lovely big awning and just amazing. And then, then you're kind of left for a couple of hours and then 
Um, we actually went to um, Bazaruto Island as well and climbed the sand dunes, which was really good fun. And we actually saw a very, very rare dugong. So this is a photo that one of the, um, the agents I was with took of the dugong's tail. Um, but it's a, it's a full day's excursion and it's brilliant. Um, and that is completely complimentary for every three nights day. Um, so in terms of activities that are included, there's, there's lots. You've got kayaks, stand up paddle boarding. Um, it's really good for kids. There's lots of things like beach volleyball, cricket. Um, every villa has its own gym basket. Um, and then obviously the beach picnic is included. Um, and then excluded activities you can do. We've got horse riding, um, kite surfing, dow sailing, fishing. I mean, this area is amazing for deep sea fishing, scuba diving, uh, spa treatments, yoga, lots of different boat packages and um, scenic helicopter flights. Um, which aren't operational at the moment, but they will be. We have our, our own helipad. Um, so included activities are obviously stand-up paddle boards and kayaks. The horse riding is amazing. So this is um, from Mozambique horse safaris, and there's an incredible book called um, 104 Horses, and it's about the story about how the couple from Zimbabwe um, in 2001, um, during the kind of uh, um, issues in Zimbabwe, basically bought their horses and, and more and more of their friends as they left Zimbabwe, left their horses with them. And they ended up bringing all these horses over the border to Mozambique and how they kind of remade their life over here in Mozambique. And you can go horse riding with these horses. Um, they're based in Villanculos. And because it's only obviously a 20 minute drive away, it's really, really easy to do. Um, the same with um, scuba diving. There's a great scuba diving center in Villanculos. So if guests want to do that, we can easily organize it for them. We also have kite surfing as well. We have our beautiful Santorini Dow that you can go and do Dow cruises on. Um, deep sea fishing. This area is amazing for fishing. And it's just beautiful to go out on the boat and just spend the day out there on the boat. It's just phenomenal. Um, scuba diving, as I mentioned, is done uh, down in Villanculos. Then every, um, every villa has its own gym basket and yoga mats. Um, and then we also have other boats you can charter as well. And as I mentioned, the heli flips are the, we have our own helipad. Um, they're not operational at the moment, but I imagine they'll come back very quickly once, once obviously tourism is totally um, back up and running in, in Mozambique. We also have a spa called Spa Nakalina. Um, which is a beautiful, beautiful spa. Um, and obviously lots of different treatments um, and they've got a lovely little kind of courtyard in the spa as well. So they'll often do private dinners in that area as well. So why Santorini? As I mentioned, I think the team are just really, really amazing. I mean, they are so, they're such a lovely team and you really, it does feel like a family. When you get there, you just feel the absolute kind of genuine kind of um, welcoming and just a yeah, really, really gorgeous team. It's brilliant for families because you have... Um, all these, you know, all these water sports, all these activities you can do. And yet it's very safe because it's the beach and the tide is very, very safe. And um, so they're really, really good up for kids. It's an all-inclusive offering. So the rates include um, uh, drinks and alcoholic beverages, not obviously premium ones, but um, it also retur um, includes uh, return airport transfers as well. And um, the food is incredible. So the um, the managers who are there, the um, the, the, the one of the GMs actually used to be the chef at um, Athol Place in Johannesburg and got Athol Place to be Relais and Chateau standard. So although he's not actually chefing or cooking at Santorini, obviously he oversees the food. So it's an exceptionally high standard and Mozambique is very well known for its incredible seafood in particular. Um, we have a beautiful big organic garden where we really encourage guests to come and see it and actually have lunch in the organic garden as well. We also have um, Paricio Ascondido, which has actually has been a COVID project. They've, they've developed this. This used to be our Boma. And they developed it into this lovely private area where you can hire for a private dinner or if you wanted to um, have a kind of special occasion, then that's, that's an option for guests. Um, and obviously, very, very big focus on the environment. They've actually launched a Santorini Footsteps Footprints Initiative. Um, so they will really encourage guests if they wanted to to come see the school they work with, um, do get involved with the beach cleanup. So there's various different projects they're working on um, with that. Obviously, COVID nineteen, they've been very active in terms of their safety measures. Um, at the moment, going to Mozambique, you have to have a, a, a negative PCR test. Um, but in terms of testing and everything, they have very good facilities. So they've had, they're really seeing a lot of international guests coming back, which is brilliant. And they've had very, very good support from domestic and, and South African um, guests, particularly domestic market um, during COVID, but they're seeing a lot more international guests coming back, which is fantastic. So these are the rates. I will send you a follow-up email with all the, the rates and the special offers. 
Um, but this at least, at least gives you an idea of the, the kind of price point that um, Santorini Mozambique is, is positioned at. And then we have really good uh, um, promotions. So we have our stay for pay three and our honeymoon offer as well. Um, and those are very, very competitive. As I mentioned towards the beginning of the presentation, we've also teamed up with a few different uh, safari properties uh, to, to create a very competitive um, bush and beach offer. So this one is um, with Chilo Gorge. And um, if you book the nine, nine day, eight night pristine germs package, you can then get um, a, a private charter between um, Chilo Gorge and Tavillin Kudos and they only pay $250. So that's amazing because um, the flights, um, obviously to try and get access between those two places is, is, would be very expensive and logistically quite challenging. So this is an amazing special offer. And then we've also teamed up with Rockford Safari Lodge in, um, in the Kruger area, um, where you get 50% off um, at each property. So I'll send these all through to you and I'll stay eight, pay um, six offer as well. Um, but I'll send all these special offers through to you. And I'm just going to end by playing this beautiful, beautiful video, which I hope you can all hear. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Sorry, I'll go and get it.
So there you go. There's a, a lovely, um, a lovely promo film of the property, which I'll send you in our in my follow up email um, after this recording, um, of this webinar with the recording. Um, so that's the end of the presentation. If you do have any questions, please feel free to uh, write them in the chat box or the Q and A box. I can see that I've got a question asking what special touches there are um, for honeymooners. Well, the honeymooners, obviously we have our special um, offer of Bride Goes 50%, which is very competitive. But they also do some lovely things for honeymooners where they have, when they first arrive, they have a beautiful um, taste of Mozambique kind of um, platter on their bed with little kind of um, Mozambican gifts, um, like um, homemade kind of chili paste and various different lovely goodies, which always go down very well. They are amazing at setting up private dinners. So every night they set up a beautiful private dinner with incredible flowers everywhere. And my remember when I was last there, it was pouring with rain. They set up this beautiful private dinner for me. And he set my my um my kind of uh, butler had set it up beautifully for me. And then it started raining and he just moved the whole thing, all the flowers, everything, just relocated downstairs and just set it up again, amazingly downstairs in the actual main dining rooms, which is very, very sweet of him. Um, is there any snorkeling directly from the lodge? The, the, you can go snorkeling, it's very tidal, so there's not a huge amount to see, if I'm honest. Um, the snorkeling is best kept for when you do the, the day's excursion to um, Marguerite Island, because we go to an area called the Aquarium, which is, as you can imagine, amazing for snorkeling. So you're very welcome to take a mask and snorkel, but you won't see a huge amount directly in front of the, of the property. Um, but that's why we have the, the, you know, the full day's excursion for every three nights day, because then you can get to experience that amazing snorkeling that you can do at the, um, at the, uh, on the full day's excursion. A question from Stuart saying, are the steps to the beach okay for less mobile visitors? Um, they are quite steep. I'll send you a photo of the steps. I mean, they're fine, but they are quite steep. There's probably about, um, probably I'd say about 30 steps. So it is, um, there's obviously a rail and everything they can, they can handle, but it is, it's, it's probably not the best for less mobile visitors. I will send you, I'll dig out a photograph and I'll send you a photograph of them. Um, because it's one, yeah, it, because they are located on this, this cliff, they're elevated. There are, you know, quite a few steps to take down to the beach. Um, uh, the excursion for every three days is that private they try and make it as private as possible now obviously they've got quite a few boats they've got i think it's five or six boats which obviously for um you know they've got eight ten rooms in total um and obviously guests are doing different excursions the whole time so they try and make it as private as possible but if it, they're full they can't guarantee it um so uh i think if you were, wanted the excursion to be private that you'd probably have to pay for an extra boat um but uh yeah, they, they try and kind of manage it so it is as, as private as possible. Um, is there another question? I think I, can't... I think that is all the, the questions. So hopefully I've covered um, everything you wanted to know, but thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. As I say, I will send you a follow-up email with all the relevant information. I am actually, fingers crossed, off to South Africa on Wednesday to uh, Thornybush Lodges, which is our new client, and Boschendale. So the next uh, webinar, will be, I think it's in three weeks time, um, once I've come back and that will be on Thornybush. So um, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Do register for that uh, webinar. I'll send you the link in the follow-up email and I look forward to seeing you there. But thanks very much for joining me this afternoon.